everybody, this is Praxis, and we're here again. River's down here playing over in his shady area, and I'm up here doing decking. As you can see, all the uh, the lighter colored boards are ones that I've done today. It's about halfway through the day, and I've gotten this much done. I'd have a little bit more done, except I had to do some thinking about uh, the stair hole. You can see how they're kind of cut just over here, and I had to kind of figure out exactly where the stairs are going to be. Uh, a section of stairs pass up through that section there, and another stairwell starts from there. So I just had to make sure that everything was proper there. But now I'm going pretty quickly through it, uh, and I wanted to show you uh, joining uh, you know, the decking down to this. I didn't do it the other day because there was very little deck to put the camera on, and I felt like if I started hammering, it would probably shake everything. So, but. I think today there's a little bit more, so I'm going to give it a try. Maybe you'll have a little earthquake, though. Uh, this board here, I've already got nailed down on the back side, and now I'm putting in some nails that, uh, well, <laughs> I'm putting in some nails that, uh, that go through the, uh, the groove section here. They're coming in at an angle. You can see them down here. I'm going to be hammering those in, and those go in diagonally to hold down that section of the board. Um, and the board is uh, bent up a little bit, so what I'm going to do to make sure that the nails go in nice and solidly is I've got little piece of pressure treated wood here. It doesn't have to be pressure treated, but extra scrap pressure treated stuff. I love to use that for my, my bang together uh, boards because I don't have anything else to do with them. You can't burn them for firewood or anything, so might as well mire them up. All right, so got a clamp here and I just squeeze it down. And the reason for doing that is uh, that I want to make sure that the nails are going in straight into, wow, well, I can already see the camera shaking. Sorry about that. Uh, the um, uh, the nails are, are now going to pass right from the floorboard right down into the floor joist. So uh, that's all lined up there, and I'll give it some banging. And like I said, you're probably going to get a little earthquake. All right. I get the nails down to the point where uh, they are just about to pass into the groove, and now I'm going to use this nail punch to set them in. I want to do just enough so that they set in without cracking the tongue off on the bottom. I'll do the other one here. Right, and a little piece of the, the top wood came off, but that's not a big deal as long as you remove it. You, make, you have to make sure you remove it, otherwise the next time I put a board in, it'll kind of be in the way. You might be able to see here that there's a little bit of a, a gap here, and I'm actually intentionally leaving some gaps on this side because the uh, the boards down on that side were getting a little bit, um, wait, which way is it? Uh, they're getting a little bit ahead of these boards over here, so I need to have these boards kind of catch up so that when I get to the other side of the stair hole and it's one continuous run across, the boards are in line with each other. And since those were, uh, they had less gaps over there, I'm just adding little gaps here and there uh, so I don't get to the end and have like an inch that uh, where there's a space. Uh, as far as anything else going on today, uh, in the pit over there. They're supposed to be uh, pouring the floor of the root cellar. First we were going to do the walls and then the floor, but for various logistical reasons they decided to do the floor first and then put the walls on top. That creates a slight problem well, with a slight possibility of there being a problem with like water incursion later, but they said that they'll waterproof it. Plus as a root cellar, you know, some humidity in there is fine and it's going to have a constant flow of air going through there. So I kind of don't really see that as necessarily being a problem anyway. I mean root cellars are supposed to be kind of a a, sort of a moist area, not, not too dry so the vegetables don't dry out. So, I don't know. It's an experimental thing anyway, so we'll see. But uh, in any event, uh, logistically, that was the way it kind of wanted to happen. So that's it. Uh, I think next several days is just going to be decking, 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 decking. Thanks for watching.